हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाव आर यू होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू फोर्थ पोएम अ थिंग ऑफ ब्यूटी रिटर्न बाय जॉन केट्स ओके जॉन वाज बोर्न इन लंदन ईयर 1795 एंड ही डाइड इन रोम ईयर 1821 very young age he died due to some serious illness and he was known for for his romantic poem okay he was very well known for his romantic poems okay students before we go to the poem i just want to tell you before you read just think of it what pleasure does a beautiful things give us what pleasure does a beautiful things give us are beautiful things worst treasuring kya beautiful things worst worth hoti hai treasuring ke liye ki nahi hoti hai that you have to think and you have to give the clarity by your self okay the thing of beauty is a very beautiful poem written okay so first few lines of the poem students a thing of beauty is a joy forever its lo- loveliness increases its it will never pass into nothingness in this line poets wants to tell us or explain us about the poet says that the beauty is internal it is forever it is never fade away but instead our love for the it enhances with the passage of time here poets wants to say us means the beauty is eternal it will never going to end it is never going to end it is endless and it will stay for ever and it will never fade it will never go it will never go it will last the same beauty means in this poem poet wants to say beauty means the sun the moon the sh- shady trees the beautiful daffodils streams of water and the green bushes of forest where fragrant must rosal this group in this poem poet wants poet is expressing his feelings towards the nature his loves towards the nature okay and just i am giving you example students if you have tried some times but i have tried so many times if if we feel low or we are sad or we are not in a peace of mind then we'll think ke, okay we we go and take a round so while going to nature while going out having sunlight having wind having air they touch they feel while touching them they, you feel good and all your pressures anxieties and sadness that will vanish for some time couple of time when you are with nature so you forget all your sad, sorrows all your tensions all everything when you are with nature okay so when we are with nature okay we forgot everything and we 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 will be with nature for ever okay 
so in this poem things of beauty mentioned by poem is the sun the moon the tree that daffodils or streams of water flowing and small small things in the forest also the sparkling the blooms and everything that gives you a smile on a face that comes under a thing of beauty okay that creates a beauty in your life okay so students moving ahead with the lines but will keep a blower quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing okay so the explanation of this two lines beauty acts like the smoothing relaxing shade Blow, blower means shade okay shade of the tree which helps all the creatures to sleep peacefully and enjoy good health that to we all have, uh, we all have experience ke while we are moving or we are sitting or we are sitting in a garden so we all must we all like to go and sit under the shady tree ठीक है वी ऑल लाइक टू सिट अंडर द शेडी ट्री बिकॉज इट गिव्स अस अ शेडो सो एंड शेडो विथ अ कूल एयर कोल्ड एयर सो वी विल फील गुड एंड एंड द दोज पीपल हु आर दे फील गुड पीसफुल एंड दे गुड गुड दे फील गुड स्लीप ओके सो so moving ahead with the lines therefore on every morrow we are we wreathing a flowery band of build us to the earth means the poet wants to explain here the lines that here he says that at every moment our desire to live further is because we encircle our our self with our love towards these beautiful things as we get wrapped up in a beautiful flowery band we get a reason to live further here flowery bands means it's it's like a tiara that we we make with the flower and we hold we wear in like a hair band so it's a uh, it's like a poetic device ke build us to the earth yani we make a small small our joy and small small happiness in a bundle of the band flower flowery band and we wear that things like a crown okay the poet wants to tell this things ke this all beautiful things flowers are the uh, example of beauty beautiful things happiness to so these all things gives us to reason to live in a beautifully manner so moving ahead with the next line split of de- despondence of the inhuman death of noble natures of a gloomy days all of the unhealthy and or darkness darkened way made for our searching in this poet wants to explain his ke without beauty the earth is full of gloom and sadness without beauty earth seems like nothing sadness no happiness no good things is there there is a sadness all around and lack of good natured people means good no no nature no good things so 
we will not find any good soul people around us so earth is like an heaven or a hell for a people and all around evil evil type of people are surrounded with us without a nature okay and okay moving ahead students yes in spite of all some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits it means poet want to explain that yeah it is the beauty the creation of god which removes the sadness and the darkness from our mind and soul means ke when cruel people are there and sadness more sadness is there in the if all darkness is there but one thing is there that is almighty the god a creature he is there he removes all the sadness and darkness from our mind and our soul to and will become more pure and na natural okay students moving ahead student such the sun the moon trees old and young sprouting a steady boon for simple ship so here is the explanation of this line the poet name some of the things whose beauty is eternal whose beauty is never going to change the same beauty from day one to till so no changes in the beauty the poet is giving the name the sun the moon greeny greenery like trees whose shade is a born for creature like the ship to rest under the tree means the shade the, the shade the color of the green uh, grass that will be the same okay so that that gives some good things and they give some shadness to the creatures and so that the poet has given us the example for ship ke sh the creatures can rest under it the poet means to say that the beauty the beauty is eternal whose be beauty is eternal the poet is explaining the sun the moon the greenery that is that we can see everywhere like trees whose shed is a bone for creatures like the trees that giving sheds to the all creatures like human also and the and all creatures they can take rest there and move ahead in their life so that can gives that can increase the beauty more of nature okay moving ahead with the students and such are daffodils with the green world like they live in and clear rills that from themselves a cooling convert make giants the hot seasons okay now the explanation of this line various flowers like daffodils make the earth so green and lively and rivers full of clear water cools everyone in the summer so poet want to say ke the color of daffodils and the color of the green greenery and the rivers that in the summer that 
that gives the everyone the cool effect cooling effect in hot summer okay so students moving ahead with the next line the mid forest break rich with a sparkling of fair musk rose blooms in this line poets want to explain his feelings with the thick green bushes of forest fern where beautiful fragrant musk rose blossom it means ke in the bushy thick bushy green forest the beautiful fragrance of flowers that gives a good smell good pleasure good nice uh, ple pleasant and atmosphere and it gives a good ambience everywhere okay moving ahead students and such too is the grandeur of the dooms we have imagined for the mighty dead all lovely tales that we have heard or read in this line poet wants to tell elaborate his thinking when he is start trying to express that other than this things of nature that poet has explained before the poet says that the story of brave men the brave man means the leaders or the who sacrifice their life for nations or for anything are also beautiful and their stories are also very beautiful that will also increase the beauty of nature okay that will also help to increase the beauty of the nature so in this lines poet wants to add something that not only the nature gives the beauty but the people who has given their life for nation or they sacrifice their life that will and their braveries that will also give the beautifulness in the things okay moving ahead students with last few lines of the poem endless fountain of immortal drink pouring unto us from the heaven brings heavens brings it means all these beautiful things are like nectar for us god's gift us to which help us to live further on the earth means the poet want to explain his feelings that the god has given this beautiful things and we have to take care all the things and we have to give these things further to this earth means we have to give this all beauty beautiful things to our coming generations so poet has given first in first few lines poet has explained the beautiness the beautifulness of nature then in few lines he has described the people who has given sacrifice they have given their life and do and poet has uh, poet has described that that stories that bravery stories are also count in the beautiful things and in this last para last few lines poet wants to tell ke we have to consume we have to take care we have to be very much we don't have to take it granted ke the god has given so we we have to take it as a granted no we have to take care 
of all these beautiful things and that things that we have enjoyed the same thing we have to give back to our generation and to the earth itself okay students so in this poem it it is little bit wa depth poem we have to understand the depth of the poem and i think i have cleared it properly and if you have not understood so please text me or call me okay students thank you